What's up everybody and welcome back. So today we're gonna to go into the weed control section of this project lawn that I've been working on. Take a look at what application rates were done, what product was used, what other product alternatives may be out there and talk a little bit about label rates and making sure that you're getting enough material out there. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. So before we get too far into this and I start talking about all these fun things today, make sure you're subscribed, join the channel, join the community, make sure you leave a comment, ask questions, please be part of it. I love to have you and let's go on this journey together. So continuing on the process over at Boomer's Lawn, if you haven't seen what I've done so far, go ahead and click up here and you can catch up real quick. But basically we're on to the weed control section of that video. So for the video, I used the Roundup for Lawns because that's something, again, that's available locally. It's relatively inexpensive. It works pretty well. It's got quite a few different active ingredients and it's really meant to clean up a lot of stuff in the lawn. So it's sort of been put together as one of those products that can kind of be used at any time of year if used as directed by the label to pick up both broadleaf and grassy weeds. The most important thing that you can do in lawn care is read the label. It is super vital, important, you need to do it. And I'm going to tell you why, because the Roundup for Lawns material has a lot of very confusing data out there. For my particular app rate, what I did out there, because I didn't need a whole lot of it, is I did a rate of two ounces in a half a gallon of water. The label had a rate of four ounces in a gallon of water for up to 500 square feet. But that's not the only rate that it had. And there's some confusing things about this label, their advertising, information on their website that could maybe be a little challenging for people that are just trying to use the product for the first time. So let's take a look at the segment and what I based my application rate on. So we're off to the final thing, everything else is done as far as what needs to be done today. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this and I'm not gonna use very much of it. I have a small one gallon sprayer. I have 10 or 15 weeds to spray. It's not very much. So I'm only gonna mix up enough for like a half a gallon, which is only two ounces. This cap right here is three ounces. So there are markings on the inside. So I'm just gonna do two ounces, throw it down, get it on the ground, give it a little bit of time to kind of sit there. And then I'm gonna come back later run the sprinkler system for a little while and then you know we're we're as done as we can be for today right here at the top you see a mix rate it's pretty easy it's understandable it says four ounces per 500 square feet in a gallon of water eight ounces per thousand that's pretty easy math to do you can figure that out well if i scroll down immediately underneath that i see a rate that says two and a half ounces in the orthodylan spray well, that orthodylan spray puts out a certain amount of product per thousand square feet or per minute. And I've done a video on that. You can click here on the calibrations of that. But now that rate doesn't quite line up. You might be getting two and a half ounces when set to the two and a half ounce per gallon mix rate, but you're gonna get about two gallons per minute out of the end of that ortho. And so when you're spraying it, you've got to really compensate for that and make sure you're covering the right amount of ground. So in that case, I'm seeing it at maybe a five ounce per thousand rate which is different than the eight ounce per thousand rate or four ounce per 500. This is now saying two and a half ounces per 500. No. See, I'm even confusing myself. It doesn't say that. It says two and a half ounces per 400. So I'm trying to get to the numbers on this. So I go to their website and I pull up this little graphic and it says 2.66 ounces per 500 square feet in a gallon of water. As it's starting to get a little weird. So I needed to go a little bit further and see where else I could find it. Well, then I find an advertisement that says up to 5,000 square feet. Well, if I do the math on that, that's 6.4 ounces per thousand square feet or 3.2 ounces per 500. So what's correct? The only thing that I can really do is go off the label based on the application rate that I'm doing. And I'm using it as a very small amount, as a spot spray, and I'm going to mix it at that four ounces per 500 square feet, or just say four ounces per gallon of water. And I didn't use that much. I did two ounces in a half gallon. I sprayed the weeds that were needed, and I actually had quite a bit left over. It only took a tiny bit. So with the rest of the material, in order not to waste it, I went around in some of the property and just sprayed some broadleaf weeds that were out in the open and away from any sort of plant or bedding material and just to help knock down some of those other weeds in the yard. But as a consumer, that could be really sort of challenging. You're trying to find something that's easy. You wanna clean everything up. 
And honestly, the Scott's miracle Grow Ortho Company, they have made a lot of things very easy for homeowners. They basically rule the DIY market. They sell more fertilizer than anybody else. They sell weed controls. They, I mean, they have so much stuff. Why is it like that? And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know. So if any of you have any insight on that and you want to comment down below, this would be the time. Jump in, uh, take a look at what I've gotten. I'm going to put links in the description below and you can see all of the different things that are listed. Take a look at the label, read everything, and you can tell me what I might be missing. So it's in cases like this where I think sometimes going with something that's a little bit more perhaps reliable or tried and true or you know industry tested, however you want to look at it, I, I don't know. It has very common active ingredients in the Roundup for Lawns, very similar to the Q4 Plus. Now, the one big difference between the Q4 Plus and uh, the Roundup for Lawns is that this uses 2,4-D instead of MCPA, but the rest of it is the same. It's got quinclorax, sulfentrazone, dicamba, and um, you know, you've, you've got something that can work pretty well to clean up an awful lot of common weeds in lawns. But again, well, the biggest thing that you're ever going to want to do is pop these things open, take a look, go through, read the precautionary statements, uh, get to know your product and understand what your application rates are for your grass type. And it should be pretty apparent and easy to follow. So that's one thing that I would just say I have a little bit of, ah, I can't recommend any sort of product, even if it's easy to get in use, that doesn't have clear stated label directions. If it doesn't have that, then how are you guys supposed to know what to do with it? So I can't stress it enough. Read the label before you do an application so you don't have any damage. As far as the results go, at the rate that I applied, the weeds are dying. There's no damage to the turf grass. Everything is doing what it's supposed to. Everything's curling up and it started to happen pretty quick. Within about 48 hours of the application, it started to actually make some changes to the weeds and you know that's going to be great because we want to get them cleaned up. It is entirely possible that I'll have to do some more spot spraying over there because there could be some weeds I couldn't see as I was just sort of going on around the lawn and doing it like a sniper and I, uh, huh, you know, hey, maybe somebody should come up with a video game about killing weeds, huh. That's just silly. So anyway, bottom line, read the label, apply correctly, use the material, dispose just like the label says, make sure that you follow everything that's on there and do it all correctly. Make sure you are covered up and wearing what you're supposed to wear, protect yourself properly, follow the label about keeping people or pets off the lawn until dry. All of those things are important and just make sure that you are doing it the correct way and always verify, always verify your app rate on the label and then you'll have nothing to worry about. So that's it, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and have a great day out there.